bachelor cooking video. Today we're actually going to go into my closet. I have a weakness. I have a terrible, terrible time cooking tater tots. I just can't do it. I've tried. It's a mess. So I've actually brought in a good friend of mine, a guy named Roberto. He's going to help me cook Cheers. tater tots today. He's an expert. And we're hopefully going to overcome my phobia, really. I've, I've stopped making tater tots. Um, Dude, it's not that hard. Honestly, tater tots, one of the best things you can go for, especially for this, for the purpose of this, these videos, right. you're going to love it. Usually us single guys, bachelors at home, what's the person you reach for? Potato chips. Anytime you make a sandwich, anything you want, potato chips. Screw the potato chips. Forget about that bag. We're going to start with the new bag, and that bag now is going to be the tater tots. By All the right. end of tonight, Freeman's going to be on his way. All right, you heard the man, so let's go jump in the kitchen and get myself some cooking. got myself five pounds of tater tots so we can cook a nice big batch. You guys know me, I cook for leftovers. Now I've always cooked them in the pan and had a bloody mess and not really enjoyed myself. But Roberto here just decimated our spice cupboard. So what's going on here, Roberto? All right, well, first of all, with the five pound bag like this, remember, fellas, this is about a, eh, maybe about a week supply for you because as bachelors, you know that you're not going to be cooking something different every day. So even if you cook too much and you have leftovers, you know for a fact you're going to be eating this for about a week straight, but that's okay. That's where the spices come in. See, so we got a little bit of garlic powder here. Some, uh, we got some steak seasoning. Black pepper. Black pepper is a thing to have, guys. You always want to have some kind of black pepper. Uh, when it comes to seasonings, there's, uh, you can overdo it sometimes, but just remember, any cooking you do, pepper is one of the things you cannot overdo. Pepper, you can just load it on there and you're going to be okay. We might not use all this here tonight. Luckily, we had some pretty cool uh, roommates that had a pretty endless supply in there. But I'm just trying to put these out and then you guys know you can use anything that's in there. Just use your imagination. If you think you're going to like it, on tater tots, they're going to go good. Remember, frying them, baking them, whatever you do, they're going to come out all right. So just keep in mind, keep a good selection, bring them out, and you'll be good. All right, and you guys know me. So what's the spice that I added? Italian sausage. This is my add-on right here. I can't imagine a meal um, without some kind of meat attached to it. So we'll also be cooking some Italian sausage, just for some, you know, Freeman flair. So my first video had fat tires, second video Sapporo, so I figure it's fitting to kind of peruse the world a little bit. That's pretty much why he also made sure to bring in an actual Mexican tonight, <laughs> help him out with the cooking. How about, yeah, actually, this is not important for me, actually, this is domestic here. Real important, fellas, just wash your hands, man. That's all. Just wash your hands. I mean, you're, when you live at home and you're living on your own, there's no ladies around, your parents aren't around, what do you do? You sit around scratching and drinking beer all day, right? You don't want that in your food, man. Come on now. You got, you got more sense than that. We're single guys just living at home alone. There's no need to be dirty, all right? Let's do this. I don't, I don't know, man. I have yet to ever wash my hands before cooking. I mean, that's why I don't need anything <laughs> yeah, to cook, man. There you go. <laughs> It's in the oven or the toaster oven. Yeah. What you kind of what's a good idea. I mean, this is what I do is halfway through the cooking process or the baking process, I'll go in there and I'll flip my tater tots. Really? Because I like because the thing is, once they're sitting on there, one side's gonna get really crispy. Yeah. I don't like that. I like my I like my tater tots crispy all the way around. So in the middle of it, I'll go through, I'll flip them. But you don't have to do that if you're just like you know what I want to eat them. I don't get I don't care how they come out. Just let them sit there in the oven and let them cook all the way, you know, the whole time through. Don't worry about it. Flipping them is just something I do. All now, right. if you want to just do this and just throw them all all dense, don't worry about it. You can do it. Um, I know as far as baking them, it might sound a little hard or a little confusing or it just seems like it's too much work. But you know what? Don't worry about it. The stove and the oven are your friends. Just think about it this way. It's just a box with a bunch of knobs, a bunch of levers. You just got to know which one to hit and you're going to turn it on. It's like a woman, fellas. That's all you do. They got little buttons here and there. You turn it on, you're going to get her going and you're, you're good as gold. You're in, you're in like Flint. So let's get this going. After that, after you got them all uh, spread around, remember, black pepper is your best friend, fellas. Before the oven or after the oven? I throw them before. I throw really? Them, yeah. Before? I, yeah. I'll all put right, them on the show. All you got to do is just sprinkle it. That's all you got to do. Sprinkle everything on there. Make sure you get them all. Sometimes I'll flip them a little bit, make sure I get them all over the place. My, my dish here is a little bit more dense, but I think we'll No, nah, no, nah, you're good, you're good. Right. 
Remember, it all depends on how much work you want to put in. If you don't want to flip them, don't do it. If you want to, go for it, man. Have at it. Uh, let me see what else we got on here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw some of this little steak seasoning, man. Yeah, that smells good. If it smells good, you know it's good. Right. So just do it. Yeah, when it comes to seasoning... Don't look at expiration dates. Yeah. Smell it. If it smells good, you're done. Remember, most of you guys are broke anyway, so expiration dates mean nothing. Right, we probably right. bought it actually expired yeah. at most of the places I shop anyway. Especially so. if you're buying your uh, seasonings like at a swap meet or something. Right, yeah. right? Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, just throw it on there. It doesn't matter how it goes on there. You can flip them around a little bit, make sure it kind of gets on there. Don't worry. Remember, we're not, uh, we're not Wolfgang Puck here. We're not trying to do anything nice. Man, this is good, man. Bachelor Chef gets to drink some beer this time around, so cheers to everybody. So, we're gonna let our oven preheat for a little while, and we're actually gonna start preparing our sausage pan and our pan fried pan. We're gonna do two of the options. I always fail at the pan frying, never actually baked tater tots. This is new to me. Let's see what happens. this big don't just grab your bag and pour it in there like that because believe me I've done this before the only thing that's gonna happen is all that hot oil is gonna splash up on you remember what we talked what John talked about the last time in the bacon you're gonna get burned it's cool don't worry about it but you still gotta still gotta watch yourself so just take your tater tots just throw them in there now too. we fill up the whole thing with tater tots we have to do one layer at a time see this is what i was about to say um and in, in this situation when you got something like a pot going on yeah you don't want to throw everything in there like it's a soup okay because and then it's just going to take too long for everything to cook and you're just going to be standing there all day and let's face it we want to eat we don't have time to yeah. be waiting on anything yeah so just uh what you want to do is just throw enough in there we're pretty much the entire bottom of the pan or the pot is going to be covered. As long as the entire bottom is covered, you know you're good. You know you have enough in there. And if you guys are a little suspicious on the, on the pepper, you can trust me because I got this tip from actual cooks. They always tell me, pepper is the way to go. You can never overdo it. So don't worry. You're not listening to a... It's not like you're listening to a jackass here that doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, fellas? All right, throw a little bit of the steak on there. And just be careful because sometimes when you get to some of these specialty uh, spices like these steak seasonings, Sometimes they're loaded with salt, so uh, you can run the risk of uh, leaving your food a little too salty. And after that, you're just going to have to wash it down with about three or four beers because you know you're not going to like it. And you gave some good advice there of not mixing it up too much. That's my big thing. Impulsively, I just stir things, and my, mashed, my tater tots turn into mashed potatoes, and it's just it's a disaster. Well, see, here's another good thing about tater tots when you're cooking them in a pan, guys. You can either just fry them up when you have yourself some tater tots, you know, with your burger, a sandwich, whatever you want. Because remember, we're not doing chips no more. Or, especially when you're doing breakfast, these go good for breakfast, but even better, especially when you're doing it in a pan, grab yourself a spatula. Because in the middle of cooking, if you want hash browns instead, guess what you do? You just start smashing. You go to town, and all of a sudden, you got hash browns with your eggs, and instead of tater tots, you got two dishes in one. 